Today is going to be a great day. I am Nikki G, your host, and welcome to The Lone Doctrine. I am your weekly dose of constructive food for thought. This month, we've been talking about how to cope with stress. Why? Because believe it or not, we all experience stress. When most people hear the word stress, there's a negative assumption. Uh, I'm so stressed out. Uh, I have so many bills to pay. Uh, the state of the world is stressing me out. Uh, there are hundreds, if not dangerously millions of things we can stress out about. But sometimes stress is good. Stress is actually a key to survival. It's a part of our flight or fright system. If you don't know about the flight or fright, here's an explanation. Explanation. Here's an explanation in a nutshell. It's a response in your body, specifically in your nervous system, that rapidly prepares the body to fight or to flee. It changes the feeling in your body in many different ways, such as increased heart rate, increased blood pressure, raised sugar levels, and so much more. Some would call it a pump of adrenaline. The problem in the world today is most of us are overworking that part of our system. The amount of stress we face each and every day is making and putting that system on overload. So in other words, it can get out of whack. It can sometimes respond too much or even too little. Most of us are taught to avoid stress. Well, I'll tell you right here, right now. That's next to impossible. Stress is a part of life, but there's ways to handle stress in healthier ways, to learn how to cope with stress, and to get through inevitable stressful times. A moderate amount of stress can be beneficial because it gives us the platform in how to cope and become stronger yet calmer in stressful situations. A lot of times people train, especially in highly stressful situations, and one that comes to mind is people who are in the military. You would think on such a high, extreme, danger, stressful, putting their lives on the line, this is not political, just using it as an example for a very extremely stressful scenario, they're actually taught and trained how to stay calm. Building your mental strength with recovery in between can allow you to handle future stress in a less reactive way. If those people going into highly stressful situations weren't able to think clearly, think with clarity, those situations can turn out very, very, very differently. Have you ever just had like a knee jerk in a stressful situation? Have you felt you've come into something irrationally or you've been exposed to somebody who's acting irrationally towards you? These type of cause and effect only cause more stress. That's one of many, many ways that people react, which doesn't benefit the present nor the future. It's mind-boggling to me how many things in the world that give the false sense of dealing with stress. In all the years throughout my own personal experience and working with others, nothing was more beneficial than taking the time to build the personal skill set it takes to understand your own stress and find the tools to get you to a stronger place in dealing with stress. There isn't just one way. It isn't one way or the highway. Every individual is different. Everyone handles stress differently. And you're way ahead of the game by having the willingness to work on, be committed to your well-being. Some stressors in life may actually be good for us. You might be thinking, you're crazy. Just bear with me. Every challenge Every life event, every experience is an opportunity. We have the chance to learn, to recognize a lesson and continue forward into a better tomorrow. 
The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. So here are some reasons why some stress is beneficial. Experiencing stress can make us hardier and better able to tolerate and adapt to life's difficulties. Going through moderate stress helps us learn new skills we can apply later in life. We gain confidence in successfully dealing with stress. We may be less likely to fear change, which will help our lives keep thriving. We may change our perspective for the better, be willing to grow, and in turn, helping our lives and helping you be your best self. And we're more likely to have the drive, the grit, and take the initiative to meet goals and cultivate meaningful relationships. With all of the world telling you that stress is bad, one way to view things is being open to another point of view. It may not be easy, but it's worth it. And as I always say, don't sweat the small stuff. And keep fighting the good fight. (laughs) 